In her interview, Margaret Kyle speaks to the many advantages of working as an artist in a community such as Lake Country. Progression in Margaret's work can be seen as a transition from her interest in her surroundings to a more introspective focus on her spirituality and her desire to paint the beauty and light of the natural world. Having worked in publishing for a number of years, Margaret acknowledges some of the changes occurring in the art world, including digitization and mixed media. Through her participation in events such as Art Walk, exhibitions at the Coffee House, and at the Lake Country Art Gallery, and fundraising with her artwork for the rebuilding of the historic railway trestles destroyed in the fires of 2003, Margaret has become an integral member of the ever-growing arts community of Lake Country. When I was a child, I, I, I mean, I was an outdoor person, so that's probably where I first um, would have experienced what I um, feel about art right now, is just being out in the hills and the, the pine needles and the magpies and those yellow blossoms that come in the spring, those, the air leaf blossoms. And I mean, that was really, as a child, that's what I would do, is swim in the lakes and just be out in the Okanagan Valley. It's so beautiful. And it became, I think, part of who I am. And, uh, but I know the first um, experience of art as a child is I received a Christmas gift from my parents. It was called the John Nagy Learn to Draw. Um, kit and I remember sitting at the table I really liked it and I drew a dog and you know got lots of praise and so I think that sparked the beginning of, of wanting to to portray things that I saw or uh, on paper and it was with pencil and I, I did shading and stuff like that you know values and stuff um, I then I know that I received um, some in grade six when I was in grade six my teacher really liked my art and encouraged me a lot to, to keep doing it and I entered a poster contest and I received a, a Robert Louis Stevenson book for, for the poster that I did and so just gradually um, as I went into high school though I did not take art I, I was I moved into bands, so it's just that creative part of me. I think it's it's there. Um, uh, it sort of was lying dormant or <laughs> whatever. When we came here, we didn't really know what would happen, but we did buy land here in Lake Country, and that's when we started to build our home. Um, but I think it was the impetus that really started me was just moving to Okanagan Center and uh, walking along the waterfront and seeing the little cottages and the white fences and the, the flowers that grew along the, the lanes. And I just, I was so happy. <laughs> and so that's what made me want to paint. So the trestle project, what came after I had already painted a picture about the trestles, the year before I had displayed that at Art Walk and my brother, uh, who lives in North Vancouver, uh, saw it. and. Um, I had talked about then how my father uh, used to build roads up in the Kettle Valley area. He was uh, a work, uh, drove a bulldozer and he always talked about the Kettle Valley and how he loved it so much. And um, So I had already painted that picture and that my husband had taken a, a photograph of because we'd been to visit it. And um, so then, then when it burnt down I had a piece of art uh, yeah, artists that have inspired me, I think, are, are ones that um, have a, a lot of light in their work. I just saw that first laying down a first light wash and letting the, mi the colors mix on the paper, like, uh, so three primaries, like the blue, the yellow, and, and the magenta, um, light, and let, the, let those blend in. Um, it just gave the the paper some warmth and and it was spontaneous so it, I never you weren't at that point trying to finish the painting but it just gave a, a real spontaneous washes you know and letting things work on the paper and letting the paint blend um, and do the work for you that's how I, I I don't know how I started it out but that always worked for me and so uh, with watercolor anyway that's how I do
Yeah, and then it's just always with watercolor. You keep adding do uh, a more paint and more paint gradually till uh, it's it's called glazing until you have certain areas that are darker and lighter and and so the the light stuff still stays there. So I've moved on to acrylic and it's not it's it's different. You can um, paint on top of acrylic paints um, differently than like add light colors onto onto dark where you can't do that in watercolor. Um, what I what I was doing when I first started out doing art was was painting things that I saw in the in the real world. Like I loved those lanes and those houses, and so that was my inspiration. But now my inspiration is more um, I'd say more inward looking and asking why why I'd like to be painting and why I want to paint this picture and um, what I'm trying to say with my art you know it's uh, so I'm trying to go deeper into that and um, like for instance I am very concerned about the the environment and water here and um, this beautiful land and so when I paint I'm trying to express um, the beauty that's there, the connections we have with everything, and, and so yeah, it's it's growing that way um, to to have more depth and meaning. And I try and name my pictures um, to have some sort of sense of that. Yeah, so I'm still working on it for sure. What I've worked on is um, because I kayak and uh, go out in the water areas. I'm more and uh, working on things that are in the environment and um, I have done a, a painting called um, it was for the urban um, now it's a, there's this an association that happens every year and they're interested in sustainability that's what it's to sustainability and um, and so I did something for that which which showed again the connection that we have in, in uh, everything we do and um, so it was a circular picture and um, it showed that deep inside the earth the water flows from one side of the earth to the other it's all connected so in some ways um, I'm interested in in sustainability and urbanization then I could say well, I think it's really advantageous that uh, the arts community is connected. It's through music, um, art, drama. Um, the the district council is very involved in funding, and um, so so with all that support and help, people um, get involved and you know start uh, seeing their art promoted in you know at Art Walk and in the in the different displays that like uh, being put up in the district offices and now the art gallery also um, and the cafe and the uh, and this now this art house it's really um, a big field to to play in